Okay, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you week two, which is January the 14th through the 20th. We're looking at calen the calendar and dates. Uh, you're going to want to study pages 21 to 24. Um, for in this week, you should be, a after you complete the assignments in this week, you should be able to talk about the calendar and dates, and you should be able to relate basic information about Cuneac with Cordial's history, economy, geography, and people. Uh, this week's assignments address student learning outcomes 1, 2, and 6, and are due on the 17th, which is Thursday, when all of your assignments are due. This week, you're going to want to start off with by looking at the instructor-made videos. Um, if you are in my online class, you have to watch all these videos. There's no other way to impart the information to you. If you're in my face-to-face -face class, these videos serve as a review, so you can decide whether you got enough out of what we talked about in class. Um, to complete the assignments or if you need a little bit more, if you need a little bit more, look at each of these videos. They go over both the month, well, all three months, seasons, and days of the week. So after you've watched the videos, then you will click in the class participation form and you'll um, click on the thread and hit reply. And then you're going to post any questions or concerns about the material either covered in class or in the videos or any other questions or concerns you have about the class. If you have none, you need to post that you have no questions or concerns, but you have to post or you'll get a zero and those zeros start to add up. Um, the first assignment you have for this week beyond the class participation is your cult is cultural assignment one. You have, I think, three of these throughout the semester where you're going to be asked to watch videos on various Spanish-speaking countries and then answer some questions about them. Uh, so you'll want to open up this assignment on Guinea Equatorial and here you're going to see three videos. So when you open them up, um, they are going to play in Spanish, but you can go over here and click on the closed captioning and turn on the English closed caption. So you can watch that while. So you can hear that they're speaking, the narrator speaking Spanish, but you can see the captions in English because um, I know you guys are in the beginning stages of Spanish. Uh, you could also pull up the transcript and print those off and have them in front of you while you watch the videos as well. When you're ready, um, you're going to click on Start Attempt Now. It's not really, it's, it's a Moodle quiz, but this does not count as a quiz. This counts as a cultural assignment. It's a separate block in and of itself. I think these are either 10 or 15 percent. I have to go back to the syllabus, but they're more like a homework assignment. Um, and there's links to the videos again in case you, um, I don't know, they're just in two places. So a lot, most of these I think are all true, false. You're just going to read the various statements. And then based on what you saw in the video, you'll decide whether the statements are true or false. Okay, and when you're done, you're going to hit finish attempt, and then it will populate. This one won't need to be manually graded um, because there's no fill in the blank. So the grade that you receive should be the correct grade. Okay, um, and let's get out of that. Okay, and then you also have some activities in my language labs, which would mean going out to my language labs. You have both this time. SAM and extra practice activities. Extra practice, if, if it's in Moodle, it's assigned. So I don't want anyone thinking that, oh, it's optional. Nothing that's on the calendar in My Language Labs is optional. All of it is assigned. So you'll click on the My Language Labs link, sign in. Again, if you aren't sure how to get into My Language Labs, if you go back to the Start Here block, this video will tell you how to set yourself up in My Language Labs. But once we're in My Language Labs, again, I would suggest going to the course calendar. Okay, and once you're in the course calendar, you click on the day that your assignment is due. Okay, the assignments will pop up here. You can click on the assignment. And the assignment should pop up. Uh, if you've already had some pop up, you might want to check down here. This um, it was actually down at the bottom for me, and I was uh, that's why I had it. Uh, I clicked it more than once. It was already open. I just needed to click down here. Um, and so then you just, you know, fill in the blank. If it asks you to fill in the blank, hit finish and submit for grading. If you don't like your grade, then you can try it again. You can try it as many times as you would like. But again, if you're doing it more than three times, I suggest reaching out to me either via email or via remind text. And remember that if you need an accented word, that you can use this box here. You just click in the box and then you click on the letter that you need. Okay, and remember this will give you capitalized accented words. Okay, um, so you'll do all of those assignments and let's see if there's anything else. And I think that that is everything for week two. So if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out.